Hi, welcome back to Team Nathan Channel. So today we are going to do the test, the United States citizenship test. Yes, so if you are planning on getting US citizen, a US citizenship, um, you will have to take this test at some point. And we'll try this, it's a practice test. So yeah, as a normal good student, um, you always do the practice tests just to see where you're going to be at. Yeah, but I didn't actually study. It's okay. Let's see how much you remember from college and stuff. Oh, I didn't learn that from college. Oh, you took the history class. We talked about some of this stuff. It'll help you a little bit. Did you pay attention? Yeah, you're, a, <laughs> you're an A-level student. Of course you paid attention. Uh, all right, the first test civic practice test how many amendments does the constitution have so constitution is the highest law right mm -hmm. 10 really big <laughs> we learned about the 10 amendments I yeah remember. that's the that's the bill of rights that's the first 10 it's i'm pretty sure it's 27. you don't even know he needs american like he's born I know, in america like, it's either Pretty sure it's 27. Yes. yes. So just so you know, this guy, he was born in America. <laughs> he didn't have to take this test. So let's see. An American person taking the citizenship test. So Gosh. one for one. Name one American Indian tribe in the US. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> but, okay, we did learn this in class. You should know. Name this. one. Yeah, name one. I'll go with Cherokee. 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 <laughs> yeah. Cherokee Indians. So this is like people from different tribes, like yeah. from, from different um, countries. Yeah. And I, I just, I, I actually guessed this because it sounded like it. Like. No, you knew it because. <laughs> no, I didn't know it. Your subconscious did because oh, we talked okay. about the Cherokee Indians in our history class for like a month. <laughs> what stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Um, one branch of government. So you guys have three mm -hmm. branches. So what is the methodology that... To stop from become... Uh, how do I know? This is... Okay, I'm gonna translate this. The president is um, Bhattana Thibodi. Freedom of speech is the... Um, Seri Paab in the way of the people. The people who checks and balances. What is that? Money? Like you're shaking them if they are doing the thing right yeah. and stuff? Oh, okay. Um, like, check I think freedom of speech. Nope. It's checks and balances. So you're supposed to check people. I mean, checks and balances is more of like a system. So the president. Like the executive branch uh -huh. checks the other two branches. Like he has uh -huh. little powers that, you know, uh -huh. um, balance out the power between the three. You know what? What what we do in Thailand when we have to take tests like this, we like if you don't know the answer, just pick the longest one. <laughs> I mean, it would work. But I mean, what did the what? Why is Emancipation that Proclamation. <laughs> what? I never seen. I never seen this word before in my life. Emancipation. What did emancipation sure proclamation? Okay, do. I'll go with the A one. I'm gonna go with the longest one again. <laughs> oh, I don't think that. I don't think it's a U.S. Um, gave the gave the United States independence from Great Britain. No, I don't think that. Gave women the right to vote. I don't think that free slaves in more southern states and at World War One. Like I think we have to look at the root of the word first. Emancipation. What does it even mean? It means becoming a separate part of. Um, it's A. Oh, it's A. Yeah. Oh, so I was right. Oh, uh, you said I don't think it's A. <laughs> no, like, it's okay. not. Yeah, it's C then. I know it was one of the two. Emancipation, free the slaves. See, like I said, it's free. It's separating one part. So the word is tricky. Um, what is the name of the vice president of the United States right now? This dude just got fired. Did he? No. Oh, so it's him. Yeah. Joe Biden was Barack Obama's 
Donald Trump is obviously the, the president. current president. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a dude that got fired. Never mind. Mike Pence. He's the only person on Trump's board that has not gotten fired, besides um, the education, DeVos. Okay, this is Mike Pence. Like, yeah. But this is my Pence. Got it, got it. They're so <laughs> weird. Um, what? Okay. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians, of course. But no one? Like, are you serious? <laughs> Somebody gonna say no one? Like, what? Okay. If this was for Americans, <laughs> it might happen. <laughs> they gotta say no one. Okay. <laughs> what is one reason colonists came to America? Um, let me answer this. Um, freedom. Freedom. But it's quite different now. It's quite different now. You don't really get the freedom you want <laughs> from being in America. What do we call the first ten amendments in the I Constitution? Already, the Bill of answer. Rights. Yeah. Called the Bill of Rights. Okay. What is one responsibility that is only for US citizens? Um, okay, I know it. I thought I thought you're supposed to do everything. Only okay. for the U.S. citizens? That is, like, if you are a permanent resident, what is the one thing that you don't have to do that Americans do have to do? Oh. Be respectful of others. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, we don't have to serve on a jury. We serve on a jury is like being in a court yeah. and yeah. judge people. So yeah. why we don't get to do that? Like, what the hell? Because you're not American, you don't oh. have to do that oh. yet. So if there is a case against me, there will be a bunch of American people judging me, yeah. but not people from my country that is a American Because now. the crime took place in America. There's not... Well, that, the crime, like potential crime. That doesn't make sense. You are American. You are judged by your people. I am not American. I've got the citizenship, but I'm judged by like someone else. Like. I mean, if you decided that it'd be fun to kill somebody in the United States, then United States citizens would judge you. I have always wanted to do that, like go to the court and be like, you know, like in Harry Potter, it's like, oh yeah, I agree, yeah, they should be punished, like, come on. Those in favor of conviction. Those in favor of clearing the accused of all charges. Like, come on! Dude, I didn't know the book. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to do that. Oh. Never mind. Under our constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? So, what is the federal government's responsibility? To declare war. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um. The to provide protection, no, issue driver's license. Uh, federal government do that? <laughs> I think it's to declare it war. Is. Oh my <laughs> god, it is. And you were like, haha, we're gonna say this is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the president? I now, obviously, Donald Trump. Who? If you answer this wrong, you know, they're gonna fail you immediately. <laughs> This is like 50% of the test and you have to get a 95%, okay? Okay, if you answer this wrong, you're just gonna fail, okay? What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? What do um, we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? What's that? Is that when you like sing national yeah. anthem? I mean, it's not the national anthem that's different. It's the I Pledge of Allegiance, blah blah blah, to the United it? States. I mean, it's the pledge that we do, but I can't say it without you actually like hearing the answer. When do you do it? Um, we like when we were in school, we did it every day before school started. Like oh, when really? we were in elementary. So you don't sing you national say, anthem. Hold on, do you sing national anthem? You sing the national anthem, and but then you pledge. say the pledge of allegiance. Yeah. After that. <laughs> we actually sang after we did the pledge. Okay, so you at school every morning you do the pledge first. Yeah. And then, and then you, you sing, sing national anthem. I think, yeah. Every morning. Yeah. Did you go to school? Oh, come on! You've been in school for like 18 Babe, years. It was only in elementary. Only in. Oh, you only sing national anthem but in we elementary. We only did the pledge of allegiance in elementary school. Oh. Why are you your kids have to do something? But. Else? 
I'm actually gonna um, say that whatever whoever made this test is wrong because the correct answer is not on there. I think it's Which, to the U.S. to, but, to the country. But this is what it is actually. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Oh. You're, you're actually pledging to the flag. You're not pledging to one of these, the state, the president, Congress. But the correct answer should be the United States. Yeah, you don't pledge to the state. You don't pledge to the president. You change it every four year, eight year. Oh my God, Congress, no. Yeah. You have to pledge for that. In what month do we vote for the president? I actually didn't pay attention. I don't think it's January. That's when the new I, president gets put into office. I think it's October. The month of my birth. <laughs> what? You want to no. be that disappointed? Or you don't no. know? It's either October or November. Uh, uh. Maybe it's after Halloween. Is it before or after Halloween? You know. I think it's after Halloween. Let's go with after Halloween. Ah, I got it right. Because you know, you know what I was thinking? Because Halloween people are paying too much attention on decorating, getting yeah. ready, costume, blah blah blah. It has to be November. But the like, the process starts in like, way know, before, yeah, no. May. <laughs> yeah, because you know you have to get your yeah. vote and so. What's that? What does the president's cabinet do? It's like the group of people that he, like, brings together as like heads of certain departments and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Makes laws. No, they don't make law. They don't do all these answers. This is the trick one. When they say yeah. all these answers, don't answer that. Like, Sometimes do answer that. <laughs> Command but the US Armed Forces, I think. To me, like if I was answering this question, mm -hmm. and like the wording of it and the choices are kind of tricky mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because one of like who he makes the Secretary of Defense mm -hmm. is the person who commands the armed forces. So one of the cabinet members does, but not the overall cabinet. Oh, so you're saying they also take part in making laws, but so you they're say, not the people that make the laws. So you say advises the president. I say I would say advises yeah. the president. It's either advises the president or all of the above. Make a law that is a con Congress. Congress, but the cabinet job. members are usually part. I mean, like most of them are part of Congress. Advises, yay! I don't think they make a law, so. But see, the vice president, he's part of Congress. Uh, but Most, I don't think that whole. I think that whole Hong Congress has to agree to make right, the law. Exactly. So that's, that's why I don't saying. think that's it's, why it's tricky. That's why they, it's tricky. Mm -hmm. Some of these questions are really tricky. Okay, what did the Declaration of Independence do? Not no, not this. Not no. Here, declare our independence from Great Britain, y'all. Yeah. This is when the Fourth of July happened. That's when it went. Ah, see. The colonies adopted it. It depends on what you're trying to say. Like, if it was mm -hmm. when it was written or when the states agreed. Yeah, it to happened it. around that. It happened yeah. around that time. Okay. <laughs> Who was the first president? Shit. <laughs> like, oh, really? I'm gonna spell like that. I'm sorry. All the names are so familiar. Like Abraham. 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 Lincoln. Abraham. Okay. What did he do? Who oh, stop, Abraham? stop. Abraham Lincoln is, um, he free slave. Yeah. So he cannot be the he first was. one. There you go. But his name was so like famous though, like yeah. Abraham. When you hear it, it's like, what? Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. Like, these two are like equally famous to me. But I don't know which one the first Do you know one. who John Adams is? No, I don't. Okay. But it's, it's our family. Is it him? No. But okay. he's one of the presidents. He was, I think, the third. I'm gonna be wrong, but I think he was the third. Okay, you know what? I think it's George Washington. Okay. Because one of the states is named after him. <laughs> stop! Stop your face of disappointment. Ah, oh, that was correct, right. But <laughs> your reasoning why is just so wrong. But I thought it right. <laughs> so. Um. George Washington and when you remember it just remember oh the dude that you know have the state name name after him blah blah like you know it's a trick like yeah to make you pass the test kind of okay what's that the flag why does the flag have 50 stars because 
there were 50 people who originally came to me like what? what? Uh, what? what? <laughs> people who make this case though <laughs> like what? Yeah, because there were came the 50 original colonies because there is one star for each state because there is one star for each president no so when you get like a hundred president you have hundred star on there like and does it make sense? what number is Donald Trump? Um, I don't even know what. He's 45 Yeah, like what? So you make extra stars before that? Yeah Um, So it would be um, for each state Yeah it, The first flag was for the for the colonies but that was 13 But actually the stripes are for the colonies too How does a US senator represent? Who does a US senator represent? Represent people of the state mm -hmm. Only the people that who belong. I don't even want to. I mean, technically, that's correct, but yeah. I don't even want to translate all this, but I just know that um, they're really they're supposed people. to represent all the people of the state. Yeah, because like this is serious. Like when I was in college, when we were in college, when we have problem in the state or problem like in other country and stuff, we actually wrote a letter like to the senator, like seriously to the senator and then sometimes we would get um um a mail back from the senator it was just so cool like he mailed him he mailed me he mailed my teachers my friends like it's so cool and all they say is that sorry like we heard you but we can't do nothing but i mean it's still cool like you know what i mean yeah yeah so yeah what are two rights of everyone living in the united states Freedom to petition the government and freedom to disobey traffic laws. <laughs> I think this is correct. <laughs> freedom of speech and freedom to run for president. No, you won't let me. If I if I wasn't born here, you won't let you won't let me. Trump, you be like, gosh, I don't wanna say it. Like he be saying that Obama cannot be president because he was born in America, and now you say I can run for president. Like this is BS. Gosh, freedom of religion and freedom to make treaties with other countries. What is treaties? It's like agreements with other countries. Oh, huh? <laughs> we get freedom to do that? I thought that was a government job. Like, freedom of speech and freedom of religion is definitely the D. The D. Uh, yeah. It's definitely this. Like, but this is pretty, like, for me, it's kind of confusing though when Trump banned Muslim people. Yeah. Like you've got freedom of speech and freedom of religion right here. Like, and imagine Muslim people going through this test and they're like, no, 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 it cannot be D. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, I don't understand this, but yeah. Yeah. I like this one though. Freedom to disobey traffic laws. It's a good one. That's like Thailand. <laughs> Stop, babe. <laughs> Thai people will be hating on you right now. They'll be commenting and stuff. Last one. What group of people was taking to America and sold as slaves? Americans, of course. The Dutch. Are you serious? <laughs> you said American. They are the. We are the. Oh, <laughs> Africans. Uh, I was wrong. Afri Africans, of course. Like the Dutch, they are like the most peaceful people in the world. So it'd be Africans. And yeah, we got nineteenth out of twenty. We got ninety-five percent. Yay! Hold on, did I do this alone or did you like You did most of it yourself. Yeah. So you didn't answer you didn't you get the one that is wrong. You know, that is and that is incorrect. Incorrect with me too. Like we yeah, both, got, we both incorrect. got incorrect. So most of all I would pass. Like usually I would pass. Ninety one percent of people pass. You have to get a sixty to pass. Oh, oh what? I have to only get a sixty? Really? It's oh. a test, right? They like underestimate me so bad. Even if I don't study, I'm serious. I get more than 60. Just walk in there and be like, for me to pass, I have to get a 90 now, okay. <laughs> like a 60, that is so like, it's not difficult That's just going to happen. You're going to get like an 88% and be like, I'm retaking it. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not taking it. <laughs> you know what? What is my tips for, for people who are like getting the citizenship? I think what is difficult is the language. Yeah, that's true. It's not difficult. It's the English that is difficult. And for me, it seems easy for me because I went to college here. So I'm used to all the like academic lingo. Yeah, academic words and stuff. Like I'm used to it. So yeah, for you, some of you that wanna um, 
pass the test and stuff the test itself is not difficult it's the language so you will have to study okay you'll have to study and now I don't have American citizenship yet so do not ask me how do not ask me what visa I should apply for or whatever it is I cannot answer I'm sorry so yeah that's it and what do you think about these um, questions do we think that do you think it's important for people who want to become American to know I mean most of these questions if you want to be it goes for any country if you want to be part of that country you should at least know most of the general information about it mm -hmm. I feel like some of these questions are like tricky on purpose to try to confuse people especially like you know it say that you memorize the Pledge of Allegiance right mm -hmm. you're gonna say but the flags not on there and that's who you're actually like you're thinking too much i mean but seriously though like so you like this test except for that question i mean and it's not just that one there's a couple other ones that are like the wording of it could be better so you think it's a good test to, to test people who want to become american i think that overall gosh I think, I think that the questions they're asking are important for people to know uh -huh. i just think that they could make it uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching our video. If you guys like this video, please click like and subscribe to T Nathan channel. And also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. So today we gotta go now. If you guys want us to do anything else or want us to like review something, something like that, or give like a reaction to something, you know, <laughs> because the last one is not like didn't get really good feedback, but um we can try that and we'll do that for you so we gotta go now so yeah bye. thank you thank you bye <laughs> stop